Hello everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate. We just acquired one new member, it is Kivan, the ranger. And we had to get rid of Imwen because we just have too many thieves around. Montarin is a fighter thief, I am a fighter thief, and everyone was a thief, so I think the ranger fits better into our composition. Yes. And he also can charm animals, which is great if we run into um, animals that either we have to fight a bunch of animals at, uh, at the same time, or um, that we, we just have to, you know, charm an animal to assist us. And why does it still ask us to remove a party member? No, I do not want to remove a party member. God damn it. Oh, so Iman's back? No, I don't want you, Iman. Sorry. Don't bother me. Yes? Yes, you should rejoin our party. Iman, sorry, you have to go. Done. All right, just go away. Yes. All right, so let's continue our journey here. Uh, maybe we find that ogre he was hunting down for all this time. And what do we have here? A gnoll veteran uninjured. That sounds really, you know, not fun. I don't know what the veteran means, so I'll quick save real quick. And, and see how bad it will be for us. All right. So, the idea was to draw him in first. He's injured. Christian's, where is he going? There is a time for What need he dead? So I try to kite them while he's running away. Did we just kill him? Yes, I think we killed him. Um, that actually went really well. Uh, we were able to kite him around. Um, I th he doesn't drop a lot of gold. Um, 65 experience, so not really a lot. And how much damage did he take? 10, oh no, 25 here. Was that the only one, only time we hit just 25 and that was it? Okay, so I do not know what the veteran means in this case, if it was an actually really hard enemy and you know, we're just six people, so we're an actually pretty strong party. Uh, but I think we will see soon how strong we really are and what kind of enemies we can um, easily take out. I just, you know, Berigos to the east. Um, so we discovered that. Task. I think we knew it was there, but we didn't discover um, a way to it yet. So let's keep exploring a bit around that castle because that castle looks rather scary if actually the orc is in there. And there is a skeleton. So let's just sit tight here and uh, let the skeleton come at us. Oh, he's ranged. Yes. All right, so I guess we just attack the skeleton face on. And yeah, so their range is actually pretty, pretty large. Like they can, from all the way back here, attack, which is uh, actually pretty long distance. I thought it was way less. All right, let's pick up uh, the loot here. They actually have a large shield. I'm impressed. That might actually be very, very good for Khalid. And another large shield. So let us take a look. So we have, oh, it's, it's still a medium shield. I thought it was a large shield for some reason. It kind of looked like it. Armor class plus one. Wait, eight. 
If you look at Khalid, oh, okay, so he's also the same one, armor class plus one. So no difference there, really. Um, it's good to resell. It appears to be skull of a human. I do not know if we can sell that or something. Throwing dagger, 1d4 missile. Um, these actually, let's actually see the damage of those on Xar. So he does two to five, one attack. And with the daggers, he does uh, two to eight, basically, because he has two attacks. Yeah, I think we just give him the throwing daggers for now, and when we run out, we have the sling as kind of a backup. So let's go through the woods a little more and, and look at the other side of the castle, if there is an entrance like the friendly arm. I actually check out the south side and see what is below High Hatch. It is something we don't know what it is. So I think we will go to Berigos next uh, for sure, just because I want to check out the the um, merchants there and ideally buy some better gear for me. Because we have some gold to spare and we have stuff to sell. For example, the, the two shields that we just um, got off the skeletons. This looks oh, like clear down here. Oh, so bears are dangerous, I think. So let's see if we can handle the bear. But as far as I know, bears are like beasts in, in like the literal meaning of the word. They are a brutal to deal with. So. Let's see if we can um, deal with them uh, without aggroing the bear. That would be great. So it is obviously a way weaker party because they have to all stay back and they will get injured, sadly. So Yeah, I do not know if this is a friendly castle or an enemy castle. So let's first take a look. Um, how this battle goes, and before he dies, I will obviously um, uh, let him be healed. But if we can avoid it, if we can just sleep, um, I, I would very much prefer that. See so ya, yeah, bear. Go away, please. Otherwise, we might have to try to kill you. I, I guess that's the best description. Because I do not know if we can actually kill him. So let's just try to leave him alone. Okay, that worked pretty well. You know, later we, we might um, take a stab at him. And see if we can get some nice pelt out of it. Okay, there's another ghoul. And I think we before there was a ghoul too that we fought, the veteran one. So let him come at us. We must not waste time. The range people as usual attack. I can but try and become destroyed. Oh, Kivan's weapon became unusable. Oh, he ran out of um arrows. Alright, I think we can fix that. Oh, can we? Oh, we don't have arrows anymore. Oh, God. Should have taken them off of Imuen before. But that's okay. Um, yeah, we will buy more arrows um, down the road. I think, does he have a sling as well? We have a leftover sling right here. So we can give that to to him, I guess, and share some of the um, bullets. Those to him. All right, so he still can uh, stay ranged, and we just all nope, we just all attack that dude. All right, that was it. We killed him. Let's see what we find. A ring. Looks like a golden ring. 
Oh, I'm full, really? The irony. Can't even pick up a ring. Let's take a look at the ring. Gold ring. Okay, it's just a completely um, standard gold ring, no engravings, nothing in it. Nothing special. Just money waiting for us to be redeemed from a shopkeeper. Nothing in this corner, so let's take a look at the west corner. If there's anything we can reach to the west. And there is, there is something small below candle keep. It, it looks like, I don't know, like just a tiny piece of land that we might want to check out. So let's just uh, clear basically all of the map around the castle. As you can see, the castle is here in the middle. I kind of just want to know what's around first because the castle, if it is an enemy castle, is a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, attacking a castle of six people uh, party does not really sound like a good idea. And letting Xar lead also not. So, actually, let me put um, Kivan up here because he is more. Um... All right, we have another. Uh, veteran ghoul? No, Gnoll. All right. Let's deal with him. He was the one where we had to be very careful about, um, about kiting, because he would go for, for those guys. Wait, why is nobody else attacking? All right. So we killed the uh, Gnoll. That was pretty simple. So yeah, I wonder now if we actually have to be afraid of the bear. Uh, it seems we're, we're killing everything that is in our path fairly easily. Maybe those are just like, you know, very small enemies and, and the really big ones like the ogre. Um, Kivan was talking about and trying to chase down will be much, much harder. But we fight that battle when we get to it. And uh, yeah, the downside with ranged enemies is you can't just let them come to you. You actually have to walk up to them and kill them, which makes it um, a lot more dangerous because you might aggro stuff behind them. Yeah, we're taking quite some hits. Um, Jahir is pretty injured. Um, Monteron is pretty injured. So we have to be, we have to be careful. Um, How we um, how we attack? Um, we might do that round and check out the castle. And if it's an enemy castle, we might just decide to turn around and go to um, what's it called? Berry Ghost first. Um, sleep there, heal up there, and then come back to fight the battle when we're all rested. All right, so we're, we're close to our starting position again. Let's make our way down towards the castle and and just see, you know, what is around it. Let's just first figure out what we are dealing with. Uh, is this a friendly castle? Is this an enemy castle? Will we just be slaughtered at sight? There's a house here. So let, let's check out the house. We have here giant spiders. All right, let's just maybe let the spider come to us. Because it's usually a better idea. Because, um, I don't know, spiders don't seem like they would be um, alone out. So we get really close to that house already, actually. Um, oh, you were down here. Yeah, you better get on Something your way up here. Let's see how hard it is to kill a giant spider. She's still charging after that guy? Yes, no. Let's... Uh, she's going after him. Alright, so everybody attack the spider. What need 
why he's kiting the spider. Alright. <laughs> Noxar. Oh, why are you attacking? Go away. And yeah, I think now it's time to um, apply one of the spells, Cure Light Wounds, onto Xar. No, god damn it. Fucking spider. Yeah, we draw aggro to the wrong person. Like, this was annoying that he was walking, like, down there and obviously, um, obviously couldn't, um, Couldn't um, get away from it, so yeah, Xara had should have been like way, way out of the way, um, much earlier. So those giant spiders now become much harder to kill. Um, I think we can resurrect him. Someone just has to pick up all his stuff. Oh well, let's do that. Take his stuff, and um. I have to figure out how we can resurrect Sir because we certainly need him uh, on this journey. So let's go inside here and hope it's not uh, hostile. If it is, well, you know, YOLO. There's nothing here. Maybe there's someone in the side room. No, it is empty. There's a chest. Can we loot it? I'm standing in front of it. Go away. So it's locked. So if we take off our armor, we can actually... I have no idea if those are worth anything. We can actually use our stealth abilities and try to unlock it. Yeah, and we failed at it. So I don't think repeatedly trying to unlock it, it will change anything, so... Let's just put our armor back on. What, now I wonder. Nothing to see here, so let's go back out. But now we know those spiders are dangerous. Especially for Xar, like he literally like it was like one round. One round and he just flat out died. So we have to be much more careful with Xar. Just get him out of out of harm's reach as quickly as possible. And like if someone's kiting, just far, far away from him. But yeah, as soon as everyone switched to their weapons, uh, to the melee weapons, and we kind of like boxed the spider in, um, what is this? Whoa, slow down. I'm trying to plan the grandest of heists here with all you trumping about. I can't hear a word I'm thinking. <laughs> of course you can't hear a word you're thinking. You have to say it out loud first. Uh, not really. A heist? That's not particularly noble or a um, legal of you. Fine then. I'll let you take care of all that noble and legal stuff and I'll get back on with being a thief. I get lost. Where to now? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. He, he doesn't seem to be the guy who could pull off a heist, so the less I know, the better for me, I guess. All right, so... What is this? High hedge. Well, let's go inside and take a look. Oh, is this this is um a, like a mage? Thing? Thalantir, a mighty mage of Baragos. Ah. Thalantir the Conchower. I don't have much patience for strangers on my property. Do us both a favor and move along. Unless, of course. You have magic for sale. Well, looks of you, you can afford the items I have for sale. Wow, what a nice person. <laughs> I sincerely hope you have some reason for bothering me. I've already stated that I wish you to leave. Hmm, so do we try to sweet talk him? Rumors talk of a powerful mage that lives here, out here. If it is you, I would like to speak with you. Hmm, yeah, I mean, the other one, like, you don't want to threaten a mage. <laughs> that is, looks at least that powerful. Rumors? Bah! There is no mage here that wishes to speak or be spoken of. Unless, of course, if you have magic that you wish to sell. We're interested in selling or even buying magical items. 
What do you have? All right. Um, oh, so he can identify things for us. And, oh, nice. Bolt of Lightning. 1d8 plus 44 electrical damage. That is pretty kick ass. Holy cow. Bolt plus one. Thyco plus one, 1d8 1 plus one missile. Those are like really, really powerful things, I, I guess. What does the 300 mean though? Oh, how many he, he has in stock? So five of those arrows cost 75 copies. They're like insanely expensive. But they're good. So... This looks really interesting. Um, I do not know if he can actually... Um, get him back from the dead. Is there a raised dead or something scroll or cyst fear? Hold on that. Oh wow. <laughs> Row of the Gorge Art Match Arc Match Eye? Just thirty thousand gold pieces. Wow. <laughs> Armor class five, saving throws plus one, magic resistance plus five percent. Nice. That good. Oh, I think it's the same, just um, based on, you know, what, what's your, um, if you're good or evil or neutral. Yeah, I don't know. There, there's um, there's a lot for us to take. Ray of Enfeeblement. Oh, this is level two, so we can't even use them yet. Strength is also level two. So we probably should come back, um, hey, after we arrive, Xar, if we can do so, and I really hope we can. And then come back and actually uh, look at some of those scrolls. And also, of course, some of those bolts, they're, they're amazing, like how much damage they do. They're also very expensive. So let's see if we can just sell all the stuff we have here to him and I actually might hold back on the throwing daggers because um, they might become very useful for us um, as we run out of arrows, which just happened as like half the people in my group. Chill touch, um, I mean, we, we learned those. So those are like allow us to do it another time but I don't think we, we really need those. We could sell them. Dagger, skull. Yeah, we don't need those. All right, uh, potion of is invisibility would give us a lot of money, but um, yeah, I think we want to keep that one. Why do I live Anything else? No. All right. Still have to figure out how we can revive uh, Xar. So I'd say we just go uh, another one of those. So I'd say we just go to Barry Ghost and and um, try to figure that out. Oh, everyone attack! And he's done. All right, that was easy. Easy enough. And um. He dropped oh a necklace or some. Something similar. Agne Manny necklace. Well, let's just sell that. Actually, let's sell that in Berigust. Uh Oh, there are two more? <laughs> Holy crap. Agnol and Agnol Slasher. Uh, can we just turn around and you don't see us? Nope, fuck. <laughs> yeah, they've been too easy. Oh, but only one of them saw us, which is great. Wow, like, Kalich just insta-slashed him in the face? How did that happen? Who, who killed him? Let me see that. Um, okay, so Chahir did 2 damage, Kivan did 6 in damage, with a critical hit. No, I actually did 
Oh, 20 was the hit, and um, it did 16 damage. Yeah, I think that was it. Nice. That was uh, pretty easy, actually. Um, oh, another ring. That looks great. Like, we find so many rings just by um, fighting those guys, and all those rings, I think, were like 40 gold-ish. So that's certainly... Um, a nice amount of money we get for uh, slaughtering those guys. And I also think we get, uh, like, due to the fact that um, we're only five people now that get experience, uh, we share more of the experience so those guys level up a little better. And actually, uh, now that we looked at it, look at it, um, I like the many more melee guys better, actually, because, I mean, it seems like we're getting business done much quicker like we can kill those dudes in like two three hits as before we needed like a bunch of ranged attacks to um to kill them so i actually have to take a look at um which one will actually be better attack wise all right let's go to berigost journey took eight hours and welcome to the city of berigost with that, let's end the episode. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time.